Hi, good morning, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Jasmine, and I hope you've had a great week. Last week, Sam told us about how Solomon built the temple for God. It was his gift to God and the people so they could all come together to worship in one place. You see, people traveled from all over to come to the temple so they could come and give thanks to God, to worship him, and just be there together as believers. The temple was not only a big and beautiful building, but it was filled with all kinds of things inside that would remind the people that God was with them, that his presence was there in that place. One special item that we're gonna talk about today is the Ark of the Covenant. And it was there to serve, again, as a reminder that God was with the people wherever they would go. So let's go over today's memory verse. Today's memory verse is, the glory of the Lord filled the temple, 1 Kings 8, 11. Let's say that one more time together, okay? One, two, three. The glory of the Lord filled the temple, 1 Kings 8, 11. Now here's Sycamore Sam with more on the Ark of the Covenant. Hey there, kids, it's your good buddy, Sycamore Sam. Kids, you know where I'm going today? I'm going to a welcome home party. Have you ever been to a welcome home party? Well, my good friend, Rusty Raccoon, is coming home, and he's been gone for a long, long time. So we're gonna welcome him home. We all got these noisemakers to welcome him home as he comes in through the door. He's gonna be so excited to see us and we're gonna be excited to see him. Hmm. You know what kids? That reminds me of the time that King Solomon and his people were happy because God came to the new temple that Solomon had built for him. Whew, I'm getting ahead of myself here, kids. But do you want to hear that story? All right, well, here we go. Now, Solomon was the king of Israel. And he wanted to do something very special for God. So he built him a temple so that all the people of Israel can come and pray and worship him. Now, inside the temple were all types of special things. Special items like, like an altar and a table and a lampstand. And guess what, kids? They were all made of gold or covered in gold. Gold was everywhere. Gold was on the walls. Gold was in the ceiling. Gold was everywhere. This was a special place. And inside, there was a special room for something called the Ark of the Covenant. Do you know what the Ark of the Covenant is, kids? Hmm. Well, the Ark of the Covenant is a special box that God instructed Moses and Aaron to build. And inside were special things. But even more, it represented the presence of God, that God was there with his people. Now the ark was very, very special. And this room was special because that's where the ark was going. And the people were so happy to have the ark with them. And they were happy to have this special room where they could put the ark. So Solomon called all the people of Israel to come to the temple. He said, come and let's worship God. And the priests carried the ark of the covenant into the temple on these special poles and put it in the special room. And guess what happened, kids? Suddenly, a thick cloud filled the temple. Imagine that, kids. A thick cloud filled the temple. That was the glory of God filling the temple. That's amazing, kids. Solomon and all the people knew that this was a special time and they were oh now i can't remember how they felt how were they feeling kids were they happy or were they sad that's right they were happy that they were a part of this special time to see god's presence his glory fill the temple they were so happy now god was with his people do you kids know that God is with you? He's with you all the time. He's with you when you're at church. 
He's with you when you're at home. Can you kids think of other places where God is with you? Hmm. That's right. He's with you at school. He's with you in the car. He's even with you when you're on the playground playing. God is with you all the time. Doesn't that just make you so happy, kids? Well, let's pray and thank God for being with us all the time. Fold your hands like this and close your eyes and let's pray. Dear Jesus, I love you. Thank you for being with me all the time. When I'm at church, when I'm at home, when I'm at school, when I'm on the playground playing, you're with me. You're with me everywhere I go all the time. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hey, great job, kids. Until next time, I'm Sycamore Sam. Thanks, Sam, for that story of Solomon and the Temple and the Ark of the Covenant. Isn't it cool that Solomon put something so special inside the Temple to remind the people of how much God loved them and that he was always there? Well, maybe you have something special at home that reminds you of a loved one, just like Tony in our next story. Well, this time, Tony lost his special item. Let's see what happens. Tony was sad. He couldn't find his special rock from his grandpa's farm anywhere. He tried and tried to remember where he put it, but he just couldn't find it. Was it under his bed? No. Was it in the bathroom? No. His special rock was lost. Mother called, Tony, breakfast is ready. Tony slumped in a chair at the table and leaned his head on his elbow. Mother put her hand on Tony's shoulder. What's wrong? She asked. I lost my rock, Tony replied sadly. But there's lots of rocks out there, said mom. You can just go get another one. No, said Tony. This was a special rock. This was a rock I got from Grandpa's farm. I keep it so it can remind me of all the fun times Grandpa and I have had together. Oh, I see, said Mom. Well, have you tried checking your jeans pocket from yesterday? Tony ran to find his jeans. There was his special rock, still in the pocket, just like Mom had said. Tony hurried back to the table. I found my rock, I found my rock, he said. That's wonderful, said Mom. You know what this reminds me of, Tony? This reminds me of the ark that King Solomon put in the temple. The ark reminded the people of God, that God was always with them, just like that rock reminds you of Grandpa. The people must have felt happy to have that special ark, just like I feel happy that I found my rock, said Tony. He smiled and took a big bite of cereal. He wasn't sad anymore. He was so glad that he had something special to remind him of his grandpa, just like the people had the ark to remind them of God. Hey boys and girls, maybe you're like Tony and you've lost something special like he has before. Doesn't it drive you crazy when you can't find it? I know it does for me. I hate when I lose things that are special to me. Let's see if you're paying attention to our stories today. Now, question number one, why was Tony's rock so special to him? Did he get it at a garage sale? Did his mom get it for him at the store? Or was it something he found at his grandpa's farm? If you know the answer, shout it out. If you said he found it at his grandpa's farm, you're right. Remember that rock reminded him of his grandpa and all the fun times that they had had. Do you guys have something special that reminds you of someone you loved? Maybe a stuffed animal or a toy or a picture that someone gave you. Those are all great reminders of how much someone loves you and how much you love them. It may be someone that's already passed away or someone that's with you. All those things are great reminders of how special that person is to you. You know, I'm so glad that Solomon thought of everything when building the temple. Not only did he think of a place for people to gather and worship God together, but he put great things inside, gold things like the Ark of the Covenant that would remind them that God's presence was there. Just like when he set the Ark in there and the glory of God came down. You see, God never leaves you. He's always with you wherever you go. So whether you're at the temple or at home or in the car, God is with you. And let that be a reminder to you that he will never leave you or forsake you, but God loves you so much that he will travel with you wherever you go, just like the ark. Have a great week, kids. We'll see you next time. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day. Jump!